Alrighty, what's up guys? Another day, another video. This one, an unconventional one, different from my typical sneaker reviews. I picked up a new pair of sneakers, or I guess not new, and you'll see why I pulled out the gloves, because these are definitely not new at all. Uh, but just want to shout out, sold out in Jersey City. I buy from them all the time. It's always great doing business with them, so definitely go check them out. But essentially, what I picked up, and this is disgusting, this super, super beat up pair of Yeezy 500s in the Super Moon Yellow colorway. Pull them out, get this replacement box out of the way. So I'll have a bunch of B-roll clips showing these off, but these are an absolutely disgusting, horrid condition. No need to go in depth as far as materials or review goes because one, I actually already have had a pair of Super Moon Yellows. I actually just sold them off. I saw these come up for a really good price in beat up condition. I figured I'll take a stab at trying to clean them up, restore them and maybe flipping them, or who knows, maybe keeping them for the personal because they are in my size, but flaws include super dirty suede. The condition of the suede is super beat up, so I don't mind giving these a deep clean. Uh, there's an odor to them. It smells like a loud pack, if you guys know what I mean. The mesh is dirty. They're, they're staining throughout the rubber portions of both the soles and these this plastic material, or rubber material, rather. But yeah, these things are super beat up. So I'm gonna try, and emphasis on try, to clean these up, sanitize them, make them super nice, and who knows, turn them into a solid pair of sneakers. So I have some materials behind me, which I'll highlight really quickly. Anything that I'm using in this video, I'll have linked in the description to purchase. So definitely go check that out if you guys are interested in doing a very similar project. So let me get the setup going right now and be back. All right, so here's everything laid out. I laid out this surface with a bunch of old rags and towels. Definitely necessary if you have those lying around. I have miscellaneous sneaker brushes. This is more so for after the process. I got this drawstring bag, which you'll see why we're gonna use it in a bit. I have these plastic shoe trees as well to have the shoes contain their shape while I'm you know, scrubbing them. So these two little containers of water here contain the following. This one with Angela's sneaker cleaner to clean the uppers. And then I have this little thing of dish soap here, diluted mix in this second little water bin, plastic Chinese food container. So I could dip these sneaker brushes and various old toothbrushes into the clean water before going back into the soapy waters. And of course I have more rags just in case, just to dry off the uppers and stuff like that. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is unlace these sneakers. And I guess this is a good time to talk about what I'm gonna do as well. So pretty much what's gonna happen is I'm gonna clean these uppers, just scrub the heck out of them, and then I'm just gonna throw them in the washing machine. You know, typically I don't throw shoes in the washing machine just given, you know, the aggressiveness of the spin cycles and stuff like that, but for shoes like this that are in like super, super beat condition, I don't mind doing that just because, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? They can't get any worse than they already are. So we're gonna toss these laces to the side um, because they'll be included in our sort of wash and clean here. So, lace is off. The next thing we're going to do is get rid of these insoles. Uh, I don't imagine that I'll be using these insoles just because you see someone's dirty footbed there. I'm either going to use my own set of insoles or buy a replacement set. We'll have these to the side though and maybe try to clean them up. Put them in the washing machine as well just because, you know, we're already going to have a cycle going anyway. I'm going to put these shoe trees in just to contain their shape. Find shoe trees like this at any sort of specialty shoe shop. Uh, a lot of times I think people use these for like dress shoes and just preserving shape. So having these handy is always very nice. And uh, I guess we could get started with the cleaning process. So we'll start with this right shoe. Right here I have the Angelus sneaker cleaner. This one's for the uppers. Uh, they list here that, you know, it's good for suede, leather, rubber, all of those shoe materials. Realize the fun part, you know, we're going to get our sneaker brushes, dunk them in clean water first. So, you know, like the rejuvenators and all these other sneaker restorers typically use the same water. But, you know, if you're very big into washing cars and using like the two bucket system, you'll know what I mean. You know, the more and more you scrub them, you're going to want to dip them in the clean water to go back into that soapy water. Here really lies the time lapse now. All 
ready to go. The upper's all scrubbed up. It's okay if you miss some spots because consider it like a pre-treatment. You know, we're just trying to rub that surface dirt off. And yeah, with something like a mesh or a suede material, you're not gonna see immediate results uh, from just brushing it. You know, you're gonna have to let it dry and sort of nap it out. The uppers are all set. Now we're gonna take our same brush, you know, dunk it in that cleaner water, go into the dish soap here, and we're just gonna give it a good old college try and just scrub the outsoles. Alrighty, so the soles and the uppers are all scrubbed up. Figured these nasty insoles again. I'm probably not gonna reuse these, but you know, I have all this leftover dish soap and sneaker soap. Might as well just give it a scrub, throw it in the wash along with these towels, and you'll see what I mean when I move down in a bit. But. The insoles all scrubbed up now, we're gonna put those to the side. We have the shoelaces and we have all this leftover soap. Again, I'm gonna get rid of it anyway, so I might as well dunk it. I'm replicating kind of like the sneaker laundry system from Rejuvenator where they keep things in this drawstring bag. What I mean by that is, you know, you toss in the shoes here. Uh, these actually might be too big to contain both. Let's give it a try. I don't even know where I found this drawstring bag, but this isn't gonna work. Uh, but if you have a smaller shoe, like a runner, it'll probably work. So scratch this idea. We're gonna throw these. Actually don't even need this. I'm gonna take everything downstairs, throw it in the wash, and we'll, we'll catch up over there. So we're in the depths of my basement now at the washing machine. And essentially the settings that I'm using is we're gonna go delicate, cold water, and let's actually do a medium load. So we're starting it up. I'm gonna throw in the towels that we had used on the surface because you don't want to throw these shoes in by themselves just because of how loud it's going to be. And we're just going to toss in the sneakers and see what happens here. From there, we've got a few remaining towels and stuff. We're actually making good use of the drawstring bag here. Going to toss in the insoles and the laces in there so they don't get lost in the sauce. And then essentially I'm just taking your run-of-the-mill blue laundry detergent that you use on clothes just gonna pour it in here so this isn't any special sneaker care laundry detergent that you'd find from rejuvenator this is all stuff pretty much lying around at home um, aside from the sneaker cleaner we'll give these nasty things a wash and see how they end up and I guess it's worth noting too it might be common sense might not be but I would not recommend doing this uh, with a full load of clothes obviously you don't want your clean nice clothes thrown in with some disgusting infectious looking easy 500s um, so definitely do them on their own do a small load with a bunch of rags and stuff just so that insulates the wash and uh yeah i'll catch up with you guys once this is all completed Alrighty, so the laundry is all done now 30 minutes later and there they are just sitting so the lighting down here is not going to do them any justice. I will say they do look a lot cleaner, uh, but let's take them back upstairs into some better lighting and we'll uh, go over next steps here. I guess it's worth noting too, before we go up there, we're not going to put these in the dryer. Those towels, definitely, yeah, but not the shoes, just to protect them a little bit. So here they are in better lighting. I mean, off the rip, you could see there are certain stains that couldn't come out, like here, for example. But otherwise, it's really too soon to tell. The suede is still really wet. So actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sneaker brushes that I had pulled out earlier. So I got this horsehair one and this more coarser foam one. And essentially what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over the suede. It'll reset the nap. And then I mentioned we're not gonna use the dryer. You know, we're in the peak of June right now. I think I'm gonna leave them in the sun or I might just leave them in front of a tower fan and let them dry. So let me go ahead and do that and we'll follow up in a bit. Let me get this camera set up. 
All right, so jumping in the video here, if you couldn't tell, maybe you could see it there. You can see your Christmas trees back there. That looked kind of whack, <laughs> whatever. I made this video back in, I want to say June. Let me double check here. Yeah, June I made this video and it was made right before we moved into this new spot. So unfortunately, I didn't have a whole lot of time to get clips after. Actually, I got pretty much zero clips except this one that I'm placing on top. You know, I lost track of time and, you know, I noticed this project's taking up like 10, 15 gigs on my hard drive. So I figured I might as well circle back on this project since I've invested so much time, time into it. Here they are. I've got to say, actually this lighting makes them look pretty good, but I have beat these to death. It's like they were beat, I revived them, and then they're beat again. But let me tell you, they look a lot better than expected and the way they turned out after that whole cleaning process was a lot better than expected since then they've been a staple in my rotation you know i wore them to move into our new spot wore them to travel around um you know i've been to philly in them shout out philly a few other domestic trips near us here in the tri-state area i wore them to pick up other sneakers wear them all the time going out to bars um, and i don't care about people spilling their beers on me these have been the move. The biggest thing, it's been carefree with these, which I love. Unlike the dead stock pair that I had back in the day, I would be super careful if I were to ever wear those, but in a case like this, I just slip these on and go. I'm sorry if you're waiting for a big transformation here. It's kind of like I teased you guys, like I did this whole cleaning process uh, with nothing to show for it, except, you know, them beat again after six months of wear pretty much like five times a week. I did realize I made a very similar video like this on my channel way back in the day. Be sure to go check that out. It might be a little cringe, but I know it's there somewhere. And in a case like this, for me, I think it's a nice vlog style video for me to go back and watch. But let me know what you guys think. Would you guys even bother wasting your time on doing a restoration like this or just saving your money and buy a new pair? Let me know what you think. This video is long enough, so like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on social. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.